Yo, what's up, guys? It's, uh, it's your boy Harl Arts here, and uh, today I decided to show you a uh, digital art project that I did uh, not too long ago. Um, I think it's pretty significant because it's my first one, so I just wanted to uh, you know, do a little thoughts on it. Um, yeah, I, I had uh, some fun doing this one. Um, I don't know if you know that band Disturbed, but uh, they have like this one song called Perfect Insanity that I always listen to, especially when I'm working out. So I just thought it'd be, uh, you know, maybe like a cool thing to draw it or like, you know, something like that. So that's kind of where the inspiration for this came from. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of new to this digital thing. Uh, it's a bit. Uh, different for me. I don't. I don't know if you get this, but like, it's just kind of weird looking at the screen while you're drawing. I'm sure. I'm sure everyone gets that weird disconnect where you have to do that. That was kind of hard to get used to, but uh, I think I'm pretty much able to now. Um, as you can see, I, I used a, a pencil under drawing for this, so it's uh, kind of cheated. I, I don't know why. Well, I mean, I guess. Pretty much, that's what the comic book artists do anyway, so I guess it's not cheating, but, um, yeah. This is, I don't know, this is kind of in my arsenal now, it's like a way you can render, uh, drawings now, so I think that's pretty cool. And honestly, I can see why people like digital art to begin with. It's because, well, there's like a number of reasons, like there's, uh, you uh, don't have to clean up after yourself for one, and um, I, I get tend to get really messy when I do art, and it takes a while to clean up. Um, it's uh, easy and convenient, and you don't run out of tools, and and uh, it's kind of the industry standard right now. So I, I that's another reason I thought you know maybe I should get on this because if. Uh, if everyone would want to do it, any work for anyone, they're probably going to want me to do it digitally, right? So, uh, yeah. Um, kind of glad that uh, I'm, uh, you know, getting on it and I'm learning it and stuff like, stuff like that. But this particular drawing, um, the basic subject matter I like to draw is like, you know, fantasy stuff and uh big buff dudes and stuff so i kind of just put the two together you know fantasy and big buff dude and uh this is what came out the other side <laughs> but no i kind of i'm learning like basic anatomy so it's fun to kind of play around with what i know like i, I kind of made his arms like nice and big and stuff like that like they're both of his arms pretty make, much make up his whole body and stuff. So, I uh, I find it really fun to play around with different anatomy. Um, I really like the look where you, like, make their obliques, like, very defined. I think that's pretty cool. Um, also, I remember I was watching Flashpoint. I don't know if you've seen Flashpoint. It's, like, this really cool uh, animated, like... Uh, DC movie, and the the art's really good in it. Like, and I love the way they do the anatomy. Like, for the the ab portion, um, they make the abs like concave, and they do some highlights on the top of of each ab, which is I found that really interesting. I was like, so they're completely in shadow, and they have like highlights, and I don't know. I'm just kind of fascinated by all the, all the different variations you could just choose to. It's like you can make your own way of doing anatomy, basically, because it's kind of loose because it's organic form, right? So if you just know the basics or, you know, the basic anatomy, you can kind of play around with that because everyone's different. Like, that's what you'll see in real life. You, you can see someone with, like, you know, maybe they have naturally bigger parts, like like a big barrel chest and, like, yeah, I mean... Uh, I remember I was in Cuba once, and uh, there was this one dude who, like, had this massive barrel chest, and, uh, I don't know, he, he didn't, 
he didn't look like you worked out either anywhere else except for this massive chest. So it's kind of in just the way you know anatomy works like that. Like you know, you could just have naturally good genetics for different body parts. I don't know. I just found that fascinating. So that's why I like studying anatomy. And uh, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty fun. And I, I kind of like the way this guy turned out. Although uh, I think I may have made him a little bit too like lanky than I wanted. He's like 10 heads tall. I, I kind of want to be a, him to be a little more condensed, but eh, I, don't, I don't think I did a terrible job, so. But, yeah. And, um, also, <laughs> there is a mistake in this art piece right now. And, uh, if you look closely, you could probably tell what it is. Um, has something to do with that object in his left hand. What object is that, you may ask? It's his sword. <laughs> it's not foreshortened properly. I screwed this up, and I didn't realize till a lot later in my drawing, and uh, this is a very common occurrence amongst artists. Wait, listen to that. Isn't that awesome? That's my washing machine. That's what it makes when it's done. Um, it's done. It's washed. I love that. It's like my favorite time of day. It's hearing that go off. Man. Anyways, back on topic. Uh, yeah, you just like make a mistake in your art and you just don't realize it until you like rendered it. And that really sucks. But with digital art, you can just go back in and switch it out. So... Um, there's another benefit of digital art, you know. It's still annoying because you have to erase it and then, like, redo it, but... But that is also a convenience that's added to it, so... It's, um, one thing, though, about digital art, though, is, uh... There's no, like, original copies, so that's one thing I don't like about it. It's because... It's just kind of like, I mean, you can make prints, but those aren't as special as like an original piece. And uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I guess this video is just like pros and cons of digital art and just me getting into it. Decided to make a podcast for fun. I've been wanting to do this for a while. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think if you watch this and have a good one. I'm, uh, I'm probably going to go to sleep now. It's pretty late. And, uh, Post this to YouTube and alright, bye. Have a good night.